So a little bit of a review here about hand type handler from the NetHV package and, uh, and serve mux and default serve mux and handle and handle funk. And then we're going to look at Julian Schmidt's router and how that all fits together. So we've just been talking about type handler. We're in godoc.org, net HTTP, okay? And we're at the index and we have type handler. And we're just drilling this in class. So somebody say back to me, what is type handler? Type handler is an interface. And it says, if you have these methods, then you're my, then baby, you're my type, All right? And so type handler says you got to have what method to be, to implement the handler interface? You have to have what method? Serve, Serve HTTP and what parameters? Response writer and a request. And if we just logically stop and think about that, because that's the entry point to the net HTTP package, if we stop and think about that type handler interface, right? that is the web. For us to serve HTTP, we have to deal with the request and then write a response to that request. So that's, that's kind of like, whoa, that's just the core little nexus nucleus of the of, of the net HTTP package, understanding type handler interface. So if anything has this method, it is also of type handler. So wherever a handler is asked for, we could pass that type in. So let's see that in action. And to do that, we're just going to do a little bit of a review, understanding net HTTP package. And if you're finding us on the web, we are working out of a a GitHub repo at my username goes to 11, and the repo is the Golang Web Dev repo. Right here, Golang Web Dev. That's the most current repo I have for doing web stuff. So we're in folder 17. And so here, just a review from last week, right? Type hot dogs, underlying type is an it. I'm creating my own type, and I'm attaching to it a method. The method I'm attaching, serve HTTP, response writer, and a pointer to a request. So type hot dog implements the handler interface because it has that method. The handler interface says, hey, baby, you got this method, then you're my type. I'm just beating that joke into the ground. It's no longer funny. <laughs> and so then what we could do is listen and serve. If we look at what listen and serve wants, listen and serve wants a handler. It takes an address and a hand handler. So when you put an address in here, what is that going to be? Is it going to be double quotes 8080 or double co quotes colon 8080? 8080 or colon 8080? Colon 8080. Okay, so this is a software development, which is 50% art and 50% engineering. And the engineering 50% of software development is complete specificity. You have to be really specific. Engineers are really precise. You have to have great precision to be an engineer. You, if you're building a BMW, the world's ultimate driving machine, you guys heard me say this shtick before, right? Yes, right? You have to have the right bolt, not just any bolt. You get the precise bolt. So we have to be precise because that's the engineering side. Colon 8080, and then we could pass in, I create a variable D of type hot dog, and I could pass that in as a handler because it's implementing this method, just FYI, right? The thing you should get isn't like some weird thing, hot dog, well, you know. What you should get is, this is a type. It has this method. When I create a value of that type, it is also of type handler, because the handler interface says, if you have this method, then you are my type. So this variable D, this value D, is both type hot dog and type handler. Listen to serve once a handler, I could pass it in. So just review. I have a question about Yeah. Can you go back question is, is like, you know, what's the signature have to look like? Could you flip those parameters? It needs to be like that. So just make it look like the handler. Well, we have to put the HTTP in front of the dot response writer. Yeah, right here. What is HTTP doing in front of the response writer? Mm -hmm. That just says, hey, from the package HTTP, 
is the response writer. And you're absolutely correct. When we go look at listen and serve and it says, I want a handler, when we go look at handler, it just says serve HTTP, response writer, and a request. And the reason they could just say response writer and request right here and not say, hey, it's from HTTP, is because this is package HTTP. So they don't have to say, from package HTTP, give me, oh, let me get back there. They don't have to say, from package HTTP, give me a response writer. They are already in package HTTP for this code. That response writer is right here, right? It's right there. They don't have to say, from package HTTP. But when we're writing code, I got package func, I got package HTTP, I'm in main. And so if I want to get a response right, I have to say, hey, it's from package HTTP. Yeah, that's what that HTTP is doing there. So there is a difference, right? Because the way the handler interface is defined, it looks like this. But that's just how, right? We don't have to say HTTP because it's in package HTTP in, in where it's declared, the, the handler interface. And then when we have a parameter we also have to give it to an identifier say so it'll be this identifier of this type that's the type so serve http cool so just doing some review and so then we did some stuff where you know we played with hot dog right and we put more stuff in serve http because listen and serve is going to do that on port 80 and it's going to use uh, the variable, the value D, which is type hot dog and type handler, because it has this method. I've just said that a million times. Because, uh, you know, and then when it's ready to serve HTTP, listen and serve, it'll call that and run that, and that's what runs. And so we could do this, more of the hot dog stuff where we could see the method and those kinds of things. And we could just keep building on that hot dog serve HTTP. So we saw all that. So that's just creating a basic handler and exploring the request. And we could also explore the response writer, right? So we saw those things last week. So the re response writer, we set a header. And, uh, and we could set a header in our response. Because if you remember how HTTP works, the protocol, what's the organization that, what's the organization that uh, defines the standards for the internet? The recommend, recommended standards for the internet. It's the what? Oh. I. 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 Do no. Do no. Do no. Do no. I. 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 E. 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 Do no. Do no. Do no. Ozzy Osbourne, TF, IETF, Internet Engineering Task Force. And they put out RFCs, RFC 7230, talks about the HTTP 1.1 protocol, and that says that <clears throat> every request and every response is made up of three parts, because all that's going back and forth is text. So we have rules, protocols for what that text should look like. And the request and response is three parts. It has the start line, it has the headers, and then it has the body or content or payload, whatever you want to call it. Payload makes it sound like military and grander, more romantic, adventurous, dangerous than it is. So, uh, so for the request, it's a request line, headers, and body payload, content. And for the response, it's status line, headers, and content. Okay, so here we're setting a header on the response. The right response writer, header, set. So we had a set of header that comes back. So just dealing with handlers, just a bit of a review. And then we have routing. And so we can start to do something like this, where we can say, hey, our request URL path, and we explored the, H type, uh, the type request from the HTTP package. We saw it's a struct, and there's different fields. One of the fields is method, which is a string. So we can see the method, get or post. Another one is request URL path. And that shows us the path, gets us the path. And we looked at the anatomy of a URL. All right, anatomy of a URL. Just show you this again. 
All right, and so the path is this gray part right there. And so when we get the path, forward slash dog, forward slash cat. So now we're starting to do some routing. So a couple of the pieces that we've got. We got listen and serve. Listen and serve will listen and serve on port 8080. And it, re it requires the port and then also a handler. What is a handler? Somebody say it back to me. It's an interface. And what methods do you have to have to implement the handler interface? Or what method? Serve, Serve HTTP. Response. Response rider. Pointer to request. All right. So listen and serve takes the port address and the handler. Handler has to have the serve HTTP method with response writer and a pointer to a request. And we can create our own type, attach that method, pass it as a handler like we've done here, created our own type, attached a method, right? Let me change that. Thank you. There we go. That's a holdover from my old naming scheme. I've changed my naming scheme, response request, res response, req request, to w because in Godoc, net HTTP, the examples, they use, where is it? Right there, right? w and r, they use r. I think in other places they use so REQ. So what, right? Other places. Yeah. You know, but you it's just an, have to use that. You can use it's an identifier, so you could use whatever you want. Okay. But if you keep it short, it's less likely. Makes sense. And it, and it makes sense that W is for writer and R for request. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So here we're starting to do some basic routing, but that's a little bit awkward. So we discovered we could do a serve mux, new serve mux, and we could use handle, which requires the route and a handler. Well, that's kind of awkward. Hot dog, hot cat, create variables of those types, make them handlers, pass them in, right? And, and here's default serve mux, by the way, where we're not using new serve mux, mux, mux handle, right? We're just using HTTP. Got it? You with me? Nod your head, you're with me. Yeah. And then there's handle funk. So instead of handle, HP handle, we could do handle funk. And so it's always helpful. It was helpful for you last week when you saw this. So we went from, and I'm just going to copy this and call it XX to be deleted. We went from, and it's complaining because I've got two of the same things. So let me just drag this somewhere new. Uh, let me do this. There we go. So now to change this from handle to handle funk, right? I'm going to change this to handle funk. I'm going to change this to handle funk. Because if we go look at handle funk, what handle funk wants is a pattern just like handle and then it wants a value of this type that is a type okay so that is different than serve http response writer pointer to request it's just a funk with response writer and pointer to request okay and so to change this to handle funk handle funk wants a function uh, get rid of this i get rid of this I get rid of this, I get rid of this. I could call this, instead of all that, I could just call this D or bar. I'll call this one foo because it's first. And I could call this one, I'll call this one actually foo. I call this foo and this one bar. All right, and then down here, foo. I can just pass in those functions. 
So it's a lot cleaner, handle funk. So primarily what we lean on, listen and serve, port 8080, default serve mux, handle funk with functions that have this signature. So when you come to this route, this function runs. When you come to that route, that function runs. I can tell you need an exercise by the glassy look in your eye. <laughs> so this exercise is I want you to change this from using handle to handle funk. Up, down, funk you up. All right, so go do that. In zero 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 temp. 